Hey, a Taurus. It's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Tarot for Thinking Minds. Hmm? How's everybody doing? Everybody doing well? We are about to do a big all reading for you, Taurus. I haven't the slightest idea what's going to come out in this. I really don't even have anything ruminating around inside of me. Um, I'm just going to do a reading for Taurus because it's been a minute, right? So we're going to do a reading. We'll see what it's all about. If you want to skip all of this chit chat and shuffling and working everything out, you can jump straight to the reading at the timestamp in the description box. Okay. All right. So as always, right, y'all understand that this is not a personal reading because as much as you are an individual, as much as you have your own astrological chart, as much as there is no way that your situation and circumstances can be the same as anybody else, we all understand to take this reading with a grain of salt. Do not cling onto it. Do not feed your subconscious mind with false hopes. If you really want to know what's going on in your life, general tarot card readings are not the way to go about it. Get your own cards read from somebody that you trust, somebody that's going to tell you the truth. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, website right there, right? Um, and I'll be, I'll be honored to read your cards. If it's not me, if I don't float your boat, by all means, please choose somebody else. Um, but definitely get your cards read, okay? I can't tell you how many tarot card readings I do for YouTubers who have obsessed over the string that's going around in whatever kind of YouTube reading, and they just know that their ex-husband from six years ago is coming back to them, and lo and behold, he's happily married and has kids and doesn't even think about you. So, do not hold on to this. It will fuck up your mental, okay? Get your own cards read so you know your own story. All right. Now that that disclaimer has been made, um, let's go ahead and jump into this reading, Taurus, okay? All right. You know what? I don't like this lighting. I'm going to change this real quick. Hold on. Let me see. That? Yeah. Let's go with that one. I like that one better. All right. So, Taurus, let's jump in. Let's do, okay? You got your video up here of the cards, and uh, we're going to start from start to finish, okay? All right. Let's go. So spirit, source, universal energy. What do you know about the collective of Taurus and what does Taurus need to know? What is coming in the near future for Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Spirit, what are the messages that Taurus needs to know about the immediate future, Spirit? The next energetic shift happening in the collective of Taurus. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to understand? And what is it that uh, Taurus needs to look forward to and look out for? Spirit, how does Taurus navigate their way through whatever is coming in their immediate next energetic shift in their life spirit spirit is always please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages but to explain them as well spirit please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you want taurus to know please use me whoa dropped a card Woo. Nine of Cups in the upright. Nice. Wishes fulfilled, Taurus. Hey. <laughs> spirit, 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 spirit. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know. Spirit, I am going to shuffle two more times. I will cut three times, and I will pull 15 cards off the top. Please arrange yourself. All right, Taurus, let's see what this is all about. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six of swords on the bottom of the deck. Some kind of transition. All right. The Empress in reverse. This is creative block. This is codependence on others. Eight of wands in reverse. Resistance holding off. The Emperor in reverse. This is a control freak. This is somebody who lacks integrity. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, success. To the Ace of Wands in reverse, delays, frustration, or a lack of motivation. The Prince of Cups in reverse, not sharing any feelings. 
Three of Wands, Preparation and Foresight. To the Ace of Cups, Overwhelming Emotion, Love, Emotional Satisfaction, Possibly a New Beginning in Love. Oops. To the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, look at that, Taurus. Ten of Pentacles. Family, home. This is like this is like the card of Taurus, right? Not technically the card of Taurus, but this represents everything that Taurus strives for all the time, right? The Ten of Pentacles. The Sun, happiness, success, and vitality. The Princess of Cups in reverse. This is emotional immaturity or some kind of creative block. To the Queen of Pentacles, home, family, establishment, security. The hangman in reverse, resistance, indecision, stalling. The five of, did I just turn that up right? I don't know if I did or not, but I, it's going that way. So the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. To the prince of swords in reverse, irresponsible. Two of pentacles in reverse, disorganization. Strength in reverse, talking to us about inner strength. The world, closure. To the fool, new beginning, new journey, and the wheel. Freaking beautiful. See, and the story just keeps repeating itself. Let's see. Yeah, see? It just goes over and over and over again. Okay, that's when me, as a reader, knows when to stop, right? When the cards that come out keep telling the same story over and over and over again. All right. So... The Empress in Reverse, Code Codependence on Others. Hold on, Taurus. Okay, let's try this again. So, the Empress in Reverse. Tell me what this is, Spirit. Tell me what this Empress in Reverse is, please. What is this Empress in Reverse? What is this? What is the Empress in Reverse? Well, geez, Louise. Ooh, the Six of Cups. Codependence on Others. The Family right? The family. Um, sometimes the Six of Cups is about reuniting or reconciling differences. It's about family, home, and nostalgia. So let's work our way through this, okay? And for those of you who are learning to read tarot, um, I read tarot very, very differently than most people do. Um, I have a how to learn how to read the tarot series. Um, there's a link in the box below and we go j basically just what I'm doing right here um, is how we go through each and every card of the tarot. So if you're interested in learning to read tarot, um, there's a link in the box below that will take you to a seven video series that you can either buy as a set or individually, okay? Okay, uh, <laughs> enough of the uh, of the media relations there, okay? All right, to the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords. Okay, all right, all right. We're sewing together a story, okay? To the Eight of Wands in reverse, resistance delays in holding off. To the Four of Pentacles, because of some kind of self-protection, some kind of stability. The Emperor in reverse is the High Priestess in reverse. An energetic disconnection, disconnected with your intuition. Do you feel like you're being selfish, maybe? Let's see. To the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, future, looking into the future, long time. Let's see. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. Tell me one more about this Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor in reverse, please. Tell me one, not five more, one more spirit, please. One more about the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor in reverse. Long time energy, five of cups, okay, in a, sp in a state of despair for a long time. Okay. Hmm. Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. Victory, progress, and success. Yeah, look, there's nine of cups, right? Wishes fulfilled, comfort happiness satisfaction that's what you're after ace of wands in reverse delays frustration holding off what is this about delays frustration holding off to the prince of cups in reverse not realistic unrealistic to share feelings the devil in reverse releasing limiting beliefs okay so i see okay i see what's going on here ah nice look to the hierophant in reverse <laughs> which is the exact same kind of energy. It's about reevaluating your personal belief system. Um, 
the hierophant upright is about everything that you should be everything that you should do everything that everybody thinks that is the right thing to do um and the hierophant in reverse is is forming your own value system your own belief system about a situation and um embracing a different way of seeing something okay all right the three of wands preparing okay so this has brought about the energy of preparing i don't want to leave a major uncovered though so spirit is there something you can tell me about the hierophant in reverse avoiding responsibility okay understood three of wands now preparing right um preparing this whole thing this whole your whole reading revolves around the ace of cups to the ten of pentacles in the sun to the five of pentacles in reverse coming out of a state of spiritual poverty possibly finances getting better to the three of cups in reverse after stifled creativity right on right on right on right on taurus right on the lovers in reverse because of a misalignment of values of some sort some kind tell me more about this tell me more about this the self-love also right it's about self-love tell me one more about the lovers let's let let's not leave the major arcana naked there to the ten of pentacles right fucking on right on right on we got that ten of pentacles to the ten of pentacles it's beautiful it's beautiful oh i swear if you don't like it you can just kind of go away all right so the ten of pentacles to the sun wow taurus this is amazing okay so is there a bridge here is there anything that you want to say about the ten of pentacles to the sun anything oh okay got a lot to say tower in reverse a personal transformation the eight of cups escape to the four of wands stability and structure okay princess of cups in reverse there's been some kind of creative block what's this blockage right here spirit with the princess of cups in reverse what's this blockage what's this blockage what is this blockage the ace of pentacles all right so some kind of manifestation because you have a creative block up here with the three of cups in reverse right stifled creativity okay oh did you all see that i hope you saw that in the camera it just popped right over there um been filled with a lot of conflict that is the creative block a lot of conflict what's the root of this conflict spirit what's the root of this conflict right here what is the root of this conflict the empress ooh, mama maybe mm, i don't like this lighting either mama maybe we're gonna go with that okay okay looking out for people taking care of people followed by the queen of pentacles which is pretty much the same energy spirit let's not leave the empress exposed what is it that we can say about the empress yep been in your head with the nine of swords okay to the queen of pentacles the hangman in reverse resistance indecision stalling to the magician trying to figure out how to manifest how to manifest i think without causing the five of cups how to manifest without um creating loss regret and despair in in the family maybe or a relationship yeah look yeah you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and you don't want to be irresponsible with the prince of swords in reverse interesting can you tell me one about the magician please can you tell me one yep 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 look at that shit look at that to the fool okay understood um two pentacles possibly financial disarray needing some inner strength the world um some some closure let me get one on the world spirit tell me about the world please tell me about the world okay yeah 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 right got it the fool new beginning new journey and the wheel of fortune a turning point in your destiny both of these cards covered by the king of swords all right let's see let's see what we got here 
to the seven of cups, right? Finally making a decision about decisions. Anything else you want? Yep, the hermit. You've been soul searching, doing some introspection. Coming out like a boss with the king of wands, judgment, the moon, page of swords in reverse. Okay, understood. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's just go ahead and see what we can make out of all this, all right? So if somebody wants to drop a timestamp, if I don't drop a timestamp, let's do 1530 just to be safe, okay? We're going to go ahead and read this all from the top, all right? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading, Taurus, a beautiful reading. The lighting, I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't know what the hell is going on. I think it's because I have the sun coming through that window and it's just offsetting everything. I don't know. All right. All right, Taurus, 1545. All right. So Taurus, we start at the top of your reading with the Empress in reverse. This Empress in reverse is about dependence on others, whether they're dependent on you or you're dependent on them. And I think because this is the card of Taurus, the Empress in reverse, it can be Libra too, but because this is the card of Taurus, this is talking about you being dependent um, for, your, for your internal abundance on someone or something else okay the six of cups comes in and talks about family home nostalgia okay and i'm glad to say that this probably isn't a love reading huh <laughs> but put it where it goes for you okay put it where it goes put it where it goes whatever you're thinking about when i read this is what this is about for you right again again it's a general reading, okay? General, meaning it applies, the general stream of this reading applies to millions of people who are Taurus, okay? Oh, and I also want to put out there that my Pisces readings are interchangeable with the Taurus readings. I am Taurus Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus. So um, I do believe that both of my readings, the, you can watch, if you're Taurus, you can watch Pisces. If you're Pisces, you can watch Taurus, and I think they will both um, um, apply to your life because it's coming from inside me, okay? All right. So the Empress in reverse, right? Codependence on others to the Six of Cups, your family, or perhaps um, the familiarity that you feel around you. But you are, you are, you, this, the, whatever this is, um, is very important to you. It's very important to you. And as a Taurus, particularly family, and it doesn't have to be blood, right? Family is very, very important. So what you're doing here in these two cards is that you are struggling with codependency on some kind of, of family or familiar situation. The Queen of Cups, right? all in your feelings, all, all, all in your feelings about this situation. And it's interesting because I just said the Taurus and the Pisces videos can interchange, right? So we got the card of Taurus as the Empress, and then we have the Queen of Cups, which is Pisces. Ha! Okay, in your feels to the Six of Swords about some kind of transition that you need to make in your life some kind of transition that you need to make in your life to the eight of wands in reverse something that you've been holding off you've been delaying you haven't actually pulled the trigger to do this okay you you want to make this transition with the six of swords um and it could be from from a disagreeable situation into a more agreeable situation but nevertheless it is some kind of transition that you've been holding off on to the four of pentacles because you are concerned um about the stability the structure um, of the situation, right? You don't want to take this transition and not be stable in your new, whatever this is for you that you're manifesting. You also don't want to leave everybody else that's dependent upon you or that you are dependent upon in a, in, in a state of insecurity, right? The fours, fours are about structure, foundation, stability. Um, they are about 
creating something out of stagnation. And that's kind of what this Four of Pentacles is talking about right here. A little bit of stagnation in some kind of decision-making process where your feelings are the most predominant um, aspect of this whole decision-making process, right? So, so your structure, your foundation, your stability, your control of the situation. You don't want to lose control and you don't want to put anybody else in a bind either, okay? the emperor in reverse. This is representing, see, we have the empress in reverse and the emperor in reverse. This is representing, this is representing you not wanting to be a dick, <laughs> honestly. Okay. Um, this emperor in the upright, like the empress is somebody that's very family oriented somebody that takes charge somebody that takes control the emperor is and the empress for that matter is who people go to when they when they need things when they need things whether it's your family um love relationships work right um whatever the situation is for you you are usually the Empress upright and the Emperor upright, okay? This is double whammy right here. Of course, this is the card of Aries. But nevertheless, it's representing your position in this situation. And with it turned in the reverse, this, is, this card is representing you not, whatever this transition is, whatever this decision is, you will not be around to be responsible for everybody else. To the high priestess in reverse, this is talking about disconnecting. It's talking about an energetic disconnection um, because I do believe you're actually maybe going somewhere with that six of swords, someplace different, new job, new home, new city, state country right you're, you're you're going somewhere and you won't be available and therefore you're resisting and you're kind of holding off making any moves because there's people who depend on you and you depend on them and emotionally right and by making this move whatever this is for you you will not be around to be available anymore at least not on johnny on the spot kind of available right because i don't know about y'all but when shit needs to get done this is who they come to right family friends business it doesn't matter when shit needs to get done they come to me and if i'm taking this transition i'm not going to be available to get shit done you know my family calls me um a control freak right <laughs> they call me a control freak it's not that i want to control them i want to control me and if your shit affects my shit i'm going to take the helm and i'm going to run the show right <laughs> um but then again who do they bring their shit to when they need to get shit done right right here so that's the issue right the high priestess in reverse is being disconnected you won't be there card of pisces by the way you won't be there to handle things and you're not sure how you're going to be able to process this nor are you sure how anybody else in the situation is going to be able to process this the knight of pentacles um, this is slow moving energy hence the resistance and the delays with the eight of wands in reverse right this is something that you've been slowly pulling together even if you haven't shared it with anybody else yet, this is something that you've been slowly pulling together and planning in your head. And oftentimes that's how a Taurus works, right? Um, we surprise everybody because we're like, uh, guess what? I'm moving to Italy. <laughs> the quarantine's over. It's all clear. I'm moving to Italy. And everybody around you is like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right? But Taurus has been rolling this around for a year in their head, right? And Taurus has been amping up for a long time to make this decision. And then boom, there's the decision. And everybody's like, what? How? You're so spontaneous. And Taurus is like, no, not really. <laughs> not really. I've been shopping for houses online for a year now. So anyway, this energy is about you planning this for a long time to the five of cups and holding off because of feelings of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. 
Um, you don't, there, there's something very emotional about this for you, Taurus, right? To the six of wands. But you know that this, whatever this transition is for you, is going to bring you victory, progress, and success. The six of wands is a card about victory, progress, and success after the battle right? What's the battle? The battle is you coming to terms with leaving whomever or whatever it is that you're struggling with right here, right? Um, so victory after the battle. Let me just get a, a, a bridge here real quick. So spirit, what is the bridge? What turns Taurus from, from holding off and not doing this into doing this? <laughs> the high priestess in reverse. All right. All right. Disconnecting. Perhaps there's a need for you to disconnect, Taurus. Perhaps for everybody around you to be able to stand on their own two feet. Oh my God, the star. I just can't, I can't even, I can't even make this up. Um, perhaps for everybody around you to be able to stand on their own two feet, whether it's your business and you're the boss and you, you own things and you control things um, and you need to take a step back so your business can get its own legs. Maybe you're looking at um, um, turning your business over to a manager, right? So you can go start another business. Um, maybe this is about changing jobs. Maybe this is about leaving, like I said, a state, a city, a home, family of some sort. But Spirit is saying with the High Priestess in reverse right here that it's necessary for you to withdraw. It's necessary for you to cut those energetic cords that keep you dependent on these people and these people dependent on you. Major Arcana, that's what Spirit's saying in that High Priestess, right? Look, to the Star card, when you do this, you will be released into your spiritual path. You will be released into hope and faith and purpose in your life. So whatever this is that's going on for you right here, Taurus, I know what it is for me, and I'm going to put a video out on that actually, hopefully later this afternoon. I know what this is for me, but whatever this is for you is divinely orchestrated in divine timing, and it is um, your spiritual path. It is what you are supposed to be doing. The high priestess says it is important for you, for whatever reason, to disconnect yourself energetically from this situation so you can move into your purpose. The Six of Wands, this leads to victory, progress, and success. To the Nine of Cups, this is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Does that mean it's going to be like, boom, on top of the world? Not necessarily, because the spiritual path is a long path, right? But it will eventually lead you too, your wishes fulfilled, emotional fulfillment, victory, progress, and success in your life. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Frustrations, delays, right? What these frustrations, I don't even need to clarify. So these frustrations and these delays that we've talked about this whole time, right? To the Prince of Cups in reverse, talking about unrealistic. These people can't handle this shit without me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Taurus. Is that ringing home a little bit? A little bit. These people can't handle this shit without me. If it wasn't for me, this whole damn boat would sink. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Y'all just don't even know. So funny. Okay. To the devil in reverse. This is releasing limiting beliefs and detaching yourself from those limiting beliefs, right? So Major Arcana, the devil in reverse, says detach yourself from your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? That these people can't run the show without you. Those are your limiting beliefs. The Spirit is saying, yes, they can. And everybody will probably be better for it if you just leave them alone. Okay? To the Hierophant in reverse. This is reevaluating your personal belief system. Not only that, but the Hierophant is, number one, the card of Taurus. Number two, it's about spiritual wisdom and understanding. And this card is about understanding the purpose that lies in front of you by disconnecting your, your, your energy 
from the situation. Now, is it saying that you gotta you gotta say bye and never be back again? No, but this is like the 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 the, the foundational stone that you need to step off of, right? Um, it's not saying to disconnect your energy from the situation forever and always. It's saying to take this journey, to take this transition, you need to disconnect your energy from the situation. Okay, I want to make that crystal clear. Nobody's saying here that you need to leave and never come back. What's being said here is that to to be able to leave, you must disconnect in order to follow your purpose with the star, okay? Which will lead you into victory, progress, success, wishes fulfilled with the nine of cups, okay? So, so um, the devil in reverse, right? Release the limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? That these people can't live without you, but they can. And they might be better off for it too, right? Sometimes people have to stand on their own two feet. Sometimes, um, you know, the, 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 the manager, the VP or the CEO um, needs to step up and, and take control of the situation without, you know, Taurus hovering over it. Um, sometimes your kids need to grow up all on their own without Taurus hovering over and taking care of everything all the time because that's what we do, right? I got a ticket, mom. On it. Got it. Done. Attorney. Dismissed. 50 bucks. Um, you know, but but that's not always good. It, trust me. <laughs> I know. It's not always good, right? It creates codependency. And if you're healthy and if you're enlightened, you will recognize this. And that's what this whole thing is about right here. It's about you recognizing that you need to do what you need to do for you. And you need to let other people do what they need to do for them so they can grow on their own. Okay. The Hierophant in reverse, right? Reevaluating your belief system, um, thinking differently about a situation. To the Ten of Wands in reverse, this is about avoiding responsibility. What is this saying? Not my circus, not my monkeys, right? Not my circus, not my monkeys. There's four words I live my life by, and it's taken me a long time to get here. And it's going to shock you what they are. It's going to shock you. The four words I live my life by are not my fucking problem. Four words. Not my fucking problem. If it is my problem, I will go to the mat for you. I will go to, to the mat for you. I will use every resource that I have, every skill and talent that I have. I will go to the mat for you. But if it's not my problem, it's not my problem. And that is the mentality that is being developed with the Prince of Cups in reverse, the Devil in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse, right? Avoiding the responsibility of other people's problems and issues or other people's lack of ability, other people's lack of whatever, right? Right? They're going to prove themselves one way or another. Um, if we're talking about business and stuff here, right? You got a CEO that screws everything up. When you take a step back, you know that ain't your CEO. And you need to get somebody in there that can. It's a proving ground. That's perfect. It's a proving ground right here for you and for everybody else. Okay. The three of wands. Prepare. Prepare. Prepare for what? The ace of cups. Emotional fulfillment. Creativity. Um, brand new beginning in emotional fulfillment to the five of pentacles in reverse coming out of spiritual poverty to the three of cups in reverse coming out of stifled creativity to the lovers in reverse very important right here lovers in reverse is talking to us about self-love and that is really hard for a Taurus. Um, not self-love is hard for a Taurus, but finding your value outside of validation from your tribe, that's difficult for a Taurus because our identity, um, for the most part, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I can't stereotype every Taurus to be this way, right? But our identity is rooted in what we do for other people, how we run the show, how we take care of everything else. Our identity is the mama hen. Whether you have kids or not, the identity is the mama hen, right? Right? Got a, 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 a kitty and the water bowl is on the shelf and, and a kitty is walking around going meow, meow. 
meow, because they want their water. Um, so what Taurus does is gets up and they take the water bowl off the shelf and they put it in front of the kitty and the kitty drinks. Instead of just chilling and showing kitty, putting kitty on the shelf and reminding kitty he can get his own water, Taurus will just go over to the RO machine and get kitty fresh water and kitty can drink, right? And that's the, that's what I'm talking about right here, right? That's what Taurus does. Taurus wants everybody to be happy. Taurus wants everybody to be comfortable. Taurus wants nobody to want for anything. And God forbid you're hungry. Come on in, because I'm going to cook you some food, right? Male, female, it doesn't matter. It's how Taurus is, right? This, Taur this lover's card in reverse is about self-love. It's about the Ace of Cups, right? Emotion, emotional fulfillment within yourself. To the Ten of Pentacles, this is going to create foundation, structure, and stability in your life. It's going to create a new way of being. And check this out. Not only will it create a new way of being, but the Ten of Pentacles is about family, home, wealth, and establishment. What this is saying is that if you take a step back and do what you're being called to do, whatever that is for you, and fall into your purpose, fall in line with your purpose with this star card, not only will you have enough for you, but you're going to have enough to help everybody all the way around, right? It's, it's like, I don't want to keep harping, okay, on the same thing, but nevertheless, Taurus, you need to take a step back, you need to take this transition. It is your purpose. It is your calling. It is what you are supposed to be doing right now. Release your limiting beliefs. Reevaluate your belief system and avoid the responsibility of everybody else's monkeys. You are preparing for a complete and total emotional overhaul. This is going to be so satisfying to you. And the Ten of Pentacles twice, one right after the other, is what's on the board. The Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This is talking about you building the foundation of your future forever in this particular situation. To the sun, no less. Happiness, success, and vitality is what will come from you making the decision to do this transition in your life. Whatever it's for. Could be a relationship. Transition out of a relationship. Do what's best for you and not what's best for everybody else for once. Taurus. The tower in reverse. A massive personal transformation. When you wrap your mind around this, spirit with this tower in reverse is saying you will undergo a massive transformation in your life that leads to happiness, success, and vitality. To the eight of cups. This eight of cups is about abandoning ship. <laughs> it is. It's about walking away. It's about knowing that everybody has eight golden cups. They're good. They're not going to dehydrate. They're not going to die. They could sell these gold cups for, for money if they need it. They can trade them for food, whatever they need to do. But you're walking away from these eight golden cups right here. And you're like, it's not my, it's not my problem anymore. It's not my problem. Y'all need to learn how to stand on your own two feet. And this is not my problem anymore. Or you, you, whoever your is, you, your, your thing needs to stand on your own two feet. It's not my problem anymore. I'm leaving you with everything that you need. I'm not angry. I'm just going to find two more cups, right? I'm just going to go find my 10 of cups. Um, y'all take the eight and we'll call it square. And I need to go on my journey. I need to go on my journey. I'm being called. I'm being called and I need to What's it, what's it, what's it break down to? Four of wands, structure, foundation, and stability in your life, harmony in your relationships to the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. It's beautiful, Taurus. It's beautiful, beautiful. Princess of Cups in reverse, right? There has been a creative block. It's also about emotional immaturity. Am I calling you emotionally immature? Oh, I don't know if the shoe fits. Maybe you are. But it's about 
emotional growth for Taurus here in this situation. It's about, it's about Taurus growing emotionally. Hence the Ace of Cups in the center of the reading and the Nine of Cups right there. Cups are waters about our emotions, right? Taurus growing emotionally into the Queen of Pentacles, but nevertheless, growing emotionally. This emotional growth brings you to the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity in your life. The Five of Wands, where there was a lot of conflict, right? A lot of conflict, hence the struggle that we just talked about. Lots and lots of conflict. To the Empress and the Nine of Swords. Again, this is the same energy that was up here, right? Codependency on others. Growing and blooming into your Empressness, right? Um, to the Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety and despair to the Queen of Pentacles because something that is, because this whole thing uproots your sense of security, okay? That's why there's been frustration and delays. That's why there's anxiety and despair. That's why there's conflict. That's why there is the need to, the Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair. That's why there's the need to reevaluate and detach, um, be, be, because this affects the foundation of your very security, right? But with the Empress right there being Major Arcana saying, mm -mm, no, Taurus, you're struggling in the human. You're struggling in the human. And what we're trying to do here is a very spiritual movement that needs to happen in your life. And Taurus understands this with the Empress in, in the upright, right? You understand it, but you still have conflict and you still have anxiety, even though you understand what the journey is and, and how it is you're supposed to handle yourself from this point forward. Um, from this point, up here you didn't, but down here you do. Queen of Pentacles, your sense of security, your home, your family, your money, um, everything is on the line, right? But Spirit says, trust that this is your purpose. Trust that this is your path. Trust that this is your spiritual journey. The hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, indecision, indecision stalling. Well, in that energy, um, the, the magician appears, right? This is about having all of the tools and resources that you need to do to get done what you need to get done. That's what this is about. This is about you making boss moves, trusting spirit, okay? Trusting spirit that, that this is manifestable, that this is your journey and that spirit, because they are leading you in this direction, they are going to provide one way or another the resources that you need to be successful in this journey. I mean, we got the Ten of Pentacles twice and the Sun and the Four of Wands and the Tower in reverse, right? A transformation, a personal transformation to the Page of Wands, the green light, Go ahead and manifest this massive, inspired, passionate new beginning in your life. Manifest it. Green light. Go. Knight of Swords in reverse. Disregard for consequences, right? Disregard for consequences. Um, now, it is Taurus just going to pick up and take off and, and leave? That's not how we do it, right? We're going to sew everything up. We're going to get everybody's last little details in line. We are going to make sure that everybody has the tools and everything that they need to be successful when we step aside, right? Disregard for consequences. It's like, I'm going to hook you all up. I'm going to give you everything that you need to be okay. And then I'm out to the fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. This is a card about a quantum leap following your heart's desires, an emotional rebirth, hence the Ace of Cups, right? About to step off into a brand new beginning in a brand new journey, taking a quantum leap in your life into your spiritual path. You're being called to do this, Taurus. You're being called. The Five of Cups. It's not without loss, regret, despair, and disappointment though, right? Because, because you love whatever this is for you, family, relationship, business, 
Whatever this is for you, your town, your, your home, you love it. But you have to let it go now. And it does cause some loss and some regret and some despair. Prince of Swords in Reverse says that you don't want to, um, you don't want to um, be irresponsible, right? You don't want to be irresponsible to the Six of Pentacles in Reverse. Um, Six of Pentacles in Reverse it talks about not giving and receiving. It talks about selfishness, one-sided. You don't want to be that way, right? Three of Swords, you don't want to break anybody's heart. You don't want to hurt anybody. You want everybody to be okay with this transition that you're taking. To the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, lacking ambition, lacking focus, um, detaching, right? You want everybody to be okay while you detach from this situation. Can you give us one on top of these five cards, please? One on top of these five cards, please. Yep, look, in the moon energy, Pisces, in the moon energy, um, talking about your subconscious mind, your intuition, rolling it all around, really, really, really coming to terms with yourself on the inside, making sure the moon is about things that aren't revealed also, right? Making sure that all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, and everything is in order when it comes time for you to launch, okay? Look, to the Seven of Swords in reverse. This is about breaking free from the mental challenges. And that's what you're doing. So these, these cards right here are about you tying up all of your loose ends and preparing to launch. Two of Pentacles in reverse talking to us about disorganization, right? You're not going to leave anybody in a state of disorganization. You're going to do everything that needs to be done to make sure that everybody's going to be just fine. Strength in reverse, right? Lots of inner strength. There's This is a little bit about self-doubt too, okay? And, and of course, right? This is a big deal. This is a big deal. This is your fucking spiritual path, Taurus. We're talking about your spiritual path that's going to lead you into the Ten of Pentacles, the sun, the star, the fool, the magician. And you're a little scared. You are. You're a little afraid. That's where the strength, inner strength comes from, right? To the world in reverse, right? Closing it out. Closing the cycle out. Getting some healing within yourself to be able to do what needs to be done. The Eight of Swords, right? In your mind, thinking, thinking, thinking. What needs to be changed? What do I need to do? What kind of movement, what kind of action do I need to take to attain success in this situation? Again, this is getting all of your ducks in a row for everybody. Two of Pentacles in reverse, right? Because you don't want to leave anybody in a state of disorganization in any way whatsoever. This is also about financial disarray. So perhaps you're getting your finances in order. You're getting your money in order. Maybe you're, I don't know, paying your kids rent or, um, I don't know, taking money out of the banks, adjusting funds, right? For when you do take this transition. To the fool. Again, second time, the fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Following your heart's voice and taking a quantum leap into a brand new journey in your life to the wheel this is the wheel of fortune this is a turning point in your destiny nothing will ever be the same for you again now granted the wheel can sometimes be about you making a decision that um could go either way. It's free will, right? But with it on top of the fool and the rest of this spread, this is about a turning point in your destiny that is going to take you into places physically and spiritually that you never imagined that you could go. This is a massive, massive, huge turning point in your life, Taurus. A huge turning point in your life. Oh, it is the sun. Look at that. Oh, damn it. Sorry for the dark video, guys. To the King of Swords, right? Truth, decision, execution of a decision. To the Seven of Cups, after lots of confusion, after lots of indecision and choices and options, to the Hermit, lots of soul searching and introspection. King of Wands, 
you're you're taking control. The King of Wands is an entrepreneur. They have vision. They have purpose. They are extremely capable in their particular skill set. And this King of Wands represents your achievement of success. And the achievement of success is you actually launching in this situation. To judgment, a decision that changes the trajectory of your life forever. A black and white decision that changes your life forever. Clarifying that wheel of fortune right there. To the moon. Subconscious mind, intuition, rolling everything around and knowing, page of swords in reverse, that the all talk, no action, bullshit, to the chariot in reverse is your opposition. And you're going to sew it all up and you are going to make sure everybody's okay and you are going to uh you're going to launch on this taurus and if, if 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 you have doubts this is your this is your path whatever this is for you this transition this is your path this is your spiritual path it is to the hierophant in reverse look at that releasing limiting beliefs right Un unchaining yourself is what this hierophant in reverse is about unchaining yourself look look at that the five of pentacles in reverse this is about the spiritual poverty that you have gone back and forth with back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with um to the ace of swords finally having some mental clarity and some truth to the knight of wands knight of wands talking about um taking inspired action passionate inspired action towards your calling to the seven of of wands in reverse talking about giving it up giving up the battle and look at that death that's beautiful that's beautiful and ending to the way that things were in the beginning of the way that things will be an absolute transformation of your entire life taurus that's what this is about wow there you go that was your reading right all right if you want your own cards read right deep thoughts with dana.com super easy you hop on there you pick your time of your day you pay and boom i show up and we do your reading um do not book a reading with me asking me what your life purpose is though <laughs> please don't do that nobody can tell you what your life purpose is the only way that you can figure out what your life's purpose is is to go in to the high priestess energy and the hermit energy do some soul searching some introspection listen to your intuition ask for guidance that's the only way you can know what your soul's purpose is okay I can't tell you what your soul's purpose is I can't tell you what your life purpose is and if anybody can if anybody says they can tell you what your life purpose is I would definitely get a second opinion because um it's free will right and that's the point of the journey is to learn and to grow and to learn how to listen to what spirit is saying to you that's the journey right and only you can know what your life purpose is only you can know what you're meant to be doing I can't pull cards and tell you yeah you're meant to go to nursing school and be a nurse I can't tell you that I mean and if anybody does I don't know I can confirm what you already know inside but you're denying because you're not connected with your intuition I can confirm things for you I can give you the outcome of a decision-making process I can help you to understand how other people are thinking and feeling that's my specialty how other people are thinking and feeling in a situation but as far as telling you what your life purpose is that comes from within inside it does it comes from within inside you and only you will know that and only you will know that by doing soul searching and introspection and following your intuition okay taurus that's your reading it's beautiful i'm going to put a video out about what's going on in my life in regards to this and remember the taurus videos and the pisces videos like straight up they can be interchanged and inter interchanged and um, they'll probably resonate with you as well okay namaste my friends